Hi ladies, it's Kathy, and today's video, stop making these style mistakes that make you look older. Getting older is a gift. There is absolutely nothing wrong with getting older, but just because we get older, it doesn't mean that we have to give up on ourselves and not care about how we get dressed or present ourselves. Our style reflects our personality and how it might feel on a particular day. Just because I turned 55 and people are now calling me ma'am, I'm not suddenly going to roll over and let society dictate how I dress or live my life. However, I have introduced some sm small tweaks to my style that keeps me looking refreshed. I feel much more alive at 55 than I ever did at 25. The most important thing you can do every day when you get dressed is to put something on that makes you feel good about yourself and makes you feel confident because we all deserve to feel and look our best. So I'm going to share a few simple suggestions that I have changed and I thought that you might like to hear about them. It doesn't mean that you know the fashion police are going to come out after you if you do any of these things these are just suggestions that i have implemented into my life and if anybody's looking for that information i'm sharing it with them the first thing that can really age us as we get older is wearing black and i love black black is a staple in my closet however probably when i turned around 50 i noticed that whenever i was wearing like some black close to my face, I was getting to kind of look washed out. And I think as we age, we just need to wear something closer to our face that gives a little pop of a color. Does that mean that I always swear off black? No, absolutely not. But if I'm going somewhere and I don't want to look washed out and I want to look refreshed, then I'll put on a pop of color. I can still wear like a black sweater, but I can put like a scarf on that has a little bit of color just to break it up here. Black is slimming. It is my go-to for my bottoms all of the time. So if you still want to wear black, maybe put on a pop of color in a jacket or a sweater or wear a colorful t-shirt and put on a black jacket. And then you get that column of color, which is very slimming, but you still get the pop of color with the colorful t-shirt. This next one is an easy one to implement and it is updating your glasses. Frames can make you look dated if you haven't updated them in years. And I know they can be costly. There are options out there like if you don't need a prescription, you can buy drugstore readers. I wear a progressive, which means that I have a prescription for far away, but also one for close up. And it seems like my eyesight goes <laughs> every nine to 10 months because I'm always at the eye doctor and they always have to tweak my prescription. And I've been wearing glasses now since I'm probably 45. And I remember being young and thinking, oh, I wanna wear glasses, they're so cool. Now it's like, oh, I wish I didn't have to wear these darn things. If we don't update our frames, they can make us look old and dated. And I think frames, the way I think about them is they are an accessory. It's a way to present our personality to uh, the outside world. And my computer glasses are a nice, electric blue color. I don't feel comfortable wearing that out in public. Some people do and it looks awesome on them. I usually always go with a tortoise color because that is the color that looks best on me. It's really important. Maybe you're wearing the wrong size of frame or the shape. For me, because if I have a round face, I always go with a rectangle shape. You have a round face and you're wearing like circular shape that may not be the best look. But you know, the optician or optometrist when you're going to get your prescription and feel they can help you decide which is the best for your look for your face and I'm also going to put in a public service announcement because I know a lot of eye doctors I have a lot of eye doctors that are relatives it's important to have a regular eye exam as we age don't think that the optometrist is only there to give you new glasses they diagnose eye diseases so it's best to catch a problem early an example of that is cataracts glycoma it is so important to get your eyes checked because because if you have diabetes, you may not even know that you have it. And the eye doctor can uh, tell a lot about your health. So it's really important, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, go for your yearly eye exam. Don't think just because you can see all right that everything is all right. Your eye still needs a checkup just like the rest of your body does. The next thing that I suggest to maybe look a little more refreshed and hip is to wear sunglasses. And keeping with the eye theme, sunglasses can protect our eyes from the harmful rays so you don't get cancers, cataracts, other eye diseases. And I'll tell you a story. Uh, we had a cow years ago when we were farming and of cow 
but of course cows don't wear sunglasses i wish they could but this poor cow got eye cancer and we had to let her go and it's just so sad so it's just a reminder it's so important to protect our eyes i never go outside without my sunglasses and i always like to get my prescription in my sunglasses so that way when i'm driving i have my prescription sunglasses on when I'm sitting outside, I got my prescription sunglasses on. It's so, so important to protect your eyes. And I feel another thing about wearing sunglasses, especially if you struggle with self-confidence, that sometimes when we put sunglasses on, it's kind of a way that we can feel shielded. We can feel uh, confident. I think that whenever you see somebody walk into a room and they're wearing like a really cool pair of big oversized sunglasses, you think, man, she looks good. She's confident. She's got her stuff together. But you don't know. Maybe behind her sunglasses, she's shaking in her boots. But they can give you an added boost of confidence as well. The next tip that I have is to add layers to your outfit. And I'm guilty of this, but it's 85 degrees out today. I'm kind of hot. I'll just wear a shirt. If you add a layer to your outfit, like a sweater or a jacket or a blazer or something, it just kind of updates your look and makes you look stylish and put together. So when we get to fall, that's when it's time to layer. But just think about that when you're getting dressed. If you just want to look a little more updated, just add a layer to your outfit. Shoes are important. It's so important to remember to look down at your shoes when you're wearing them. First of all, to make sure that they're clean. You know, we want to make sure that our shoes don't have mud on them or dust. Nice, sparkly, clean shoes really complete an outfit. If your sneakers are dirty and looking worn out, then it's probably time to replace them. And just because we're getting older and we might have, you know, issues with our feet and some of us might have to wear orthotics, it doesn't mean that you have to wear ugly shoes because there's lots of shoe brands. One that comes to mind is Vionic. I have several pairs of their shoes because I have flat feet and need extra support. Mephisto is another great one. They have great sandals that I live in in the summertime. Just because we're over 50 or whatever, we don't have to wear really ugly shoes if you need an orthotic. There's lots of updated ones. I know my mom had orthotics that she could put in different pairs of shoes, so maybe that is an option. Shoes are just a fun accessory that can really make or break an outfit, and it can also make us look young and hip, refreshed, or kind of dated. The next one that I recommend to help us not look older but look refreshed is to even out our complexion. I have certainly found as I've gotten older, I think a lot of the sun damage from when I was a kid is starting to come out in my face. I have mild rosacea. I have sensitive skin. You may notice sometimes when I'm doing a makeup video or a skincare video, when I touch my face, my face instantly turns red. That's because I have very sensitive skin. So even if you don't wear makeup, I think hiding any red or discoloration will help you to look refreshed. And if you don't want to feel like you're wearing makeup, you know, every time I wear this, everybody says, I love your makeup, Kathy. Thank you, I appreciate that. But I'm not really wearing makeup. What I'm wearing is a tinted moisturizer and that's what I have on today with just a little powder over it just to kind of set it. The one that I'm wearing is by Elta MD. So it has a sunscreen in it and it's a tinted moisturizer. So it just hides my redness, evens out my skin tone. If you want a drugstore, version. I like the L'Oreal Anti-Redness BB Cream. It has a green texture, but when it goes on, it just somehow interacts with your skin and it turns out to be the perfect shade for you. I've recommended that and a lot of you have picked it up and you really like that as well. So even if you just do that, that is uh, going to really help you look refreshed. And then if you could do this next step with it, you're going to look really refreshed. And that is do your eyebrows. You've seen me without makeup. I barely have eyebrows. I have hypothyroidism. So I'm missing like a part of my tail and I have to draw my eyebrows on. Eyebrows are so important because they frame your beautiful face. You can see in pictures before and after that just doing your eyebrows can really make your face pop. So if you even out your complexion, do your eyebrows, you're gonna look so youthful and refreshed. And it's also important to shape them, get them waxed. If you're not good at shaping them, I'm no good. I have to go get 
what little eyebrows I have shaped and waxed. I have thought about getting uh, microblading done, but then I've talked to people and they're like, yeah, but you constantly have to get it done every year or every year and a half because it fades. Because wash your face a lot, use a lot of skincare supposedly. It doesn't last. I don't know if that's true. Let us know if you know. For now, I'm just gonna stick with my trusty It Cosmetics Brow Power. I love that eyebrow pencil. I wear it in universal taupe. And the thing that I like about this eyebrow pencil First of all, it's easy to use. It has a very um, micro pencil lead or whatever it's called. And you just gently stroke and put your eyebrows on. But the thing about this pencil, if you press harder, it gets darker. And then if you wanna get lighter as you go towards the tail, just use lighter strokes. I've been using that pencil for years and love it. Another way we can look updated is by wearing booties. Fall is coming, I cannot wait to get out of this hot weather. I used to love summer, I can't stand it anymore. It's, it's too hot. And I love to wear booties. So fall is a great time to wear some booties. Wear them with some jeans. If you like knee-high boots, rock those babies. Knee-high boots, I think, look really nice with a dress. I don't own a pair because I have very big calves, but maybe as I lose some weight, maybe I find some that will finally fit me. I love the look of booties with a dress in the fall. Another way you can update your look is wearing a shoe with a heel. I love flats. I don't like high heels. I was a farmer. I lived in rubber boots and steel toe work boots. So wearing high heels is very foreign and very dangerous. I remember one time I bought myself a pair of booties and the heel was about that high and the house we were living in at the time it was like a split house so there was like five stairs going up and then seven down and I was coming down from the bedrooms and I ended up falling down four of the stairs. That was not fun. And that's kind of why I stay away from heels because I just feel like cluts in them. But they do look nice. I, I'm not disputing that. Maybe you like flats all the time like I do. I'm trying to look for shoes that have a little heel or a good sturdy block heel. I don't feel comfortable in like stilettos or anything like that. Also changing the color of your eyeliner instead of wearing black. Black can be very harsh. I personally like to wear brown navy and sometimes even gray. I find those complement my blue eyes. So if you have green eyes or brown eyes, maybe just do a Google search and see what color is best for those color of eyes. I just find that as I'm getting older, uh, black is harsh. And even in mascara, they now have brown mascara. And I remember years ago, they had blue mascara. That was fun. I remember trying that. Estee Lauder had it. I will put the brown eyeliner on my upper waterline, but on my lower waterline, I didn't do it today, but I usually wear like a nude eyeliner and that just helps to brighten the eye. I find if I was to put a dark eyeliner on the bottom, it just closes my eye and it, it's not a good look. The next thing is I think sometimes we forget to do is add some color to our cheeks because as we age, we seem to get a little more pale. So I like to go with a blush that just has a nice hint of pink that just gives a natural glow. Like you just came inside from, you know, being out in the cold for a couple of hours. And you also wanna be mindful of placement. When we were younger, we probably put our blush, you know, in the apple of our cheeks. Well, now that we're older, it's more important to put our blush a little higher because if we put our blush on our cheek when we close our mouth like our cheek is down here so it doesn't kind of look like it's in the right place so I like when I'm putting my blush on because I have a round face I will start on the outer corner of my eye and just right on the cheekbone and then I'll like pull it up we always want to pull up like to elongate the face and I'll come up here a bit like a comma or you can just like go straight up, but always like you wanna pull up. You don't wanna go down because you wanna pull up the face and elongate the face. I also still wear powder blush. I have oily skin, so powder blush is okay. But if you have dry skin, you might want to go with like a cream blush or a liquid blush. Charlotte Tilbury has some nice beauty wands and I believe e.l.f. also has some. So I'll link some of those below the video. And I even have a few beginner makeup videos that I did a year or so ago. I'll link those as well. The next style know. mistake that we sometimes make as we get older and we've put on a little bit of weight is we want to hide behind boxy or bulky clothes. We think that somehow that 
you know, hides our extra weight and will make us look better. It doesn't. It has the opposite effect. It makes us look bigger. I think it's so important to wear clothes that fit your body properly. If you find some clothes that you like and you need to like, cinch them in underneath the bust to create a bit of a waist or if you have to get the arms or the legs shortened, I highly recommend doing that if you can sew or find yourself a good tailor. I try and buy petite clothes when I can because that is the fit that works best for me. But a lot of times I can't and I have to buy like regular length pants and more often than not, I have to get them hemmed. There is a seamstress where I live. She has a business. I don't know like how she can survive on what she charges. Like, I think she charges, it used to be $5 to hem jeans, and now it's like $8. I don't know how she does it, but that's where I take my clothes all the time. She always does a great job. It's so important to wear clothes that look like they were made for your body because it's gonna actually make you look slimmer. It's also gonna make you look like confident and refreshed. Cause I get it. When you're carrying weight, sometimes you just wanna, you know, look down, kind of hunch down. And so you hope nobody notices you, but they do notice you and it's really important. Like you wanna be noticed. You gotta let your light shine and be confident. Oh gosh, this next one is so important. It is so important to wear clothes that are comfortable. Comfort is key for me. I don't care if I'm wearing something that isn't on trend. I really don't care. As long as I'm comfortable, that is what matters. There's nothing worse than wearing something that is so tight, like your underwear or bra, but you're wearing it because it's, you know, so sexy or whatever, and it's just digging into you. Oh my gosh, I've worn those in the past and I just can't wait to rip them off and, you know, I'll let the girls set them free. Same thing goes with like jeans or tops. I just can't stand jeans that are too tight or they're the wrong rise and they're digging into my belly. So it's really, really important to wear clothes that make you feel comfortable. And because whenever you're comfortable, you're gonna stand taller and you're gonna be confident. Lots of comfortable clothes today can get a little more pizzazz. You can add accessories to them. For example, I know these Spanx tapered pants. You're probably sick of me talking about them, but I love them. <laughs> and I just love them. And so many of you love them. You can zhuzh them up with a blouse and, you know, wear them as dress pants like I did on a cruise. I know like as we get older, some of us like to wear more casual, what do you call it? Like athletic wear or athleisure wear. That's fine. Like that's what I do. But you can, like I said, use accessories or a prettier top just to dress it up and you can still be comfortable because comfort's key. This is my personal opinion for myself. So don't get mad at me. If it works for you, keep doing it. But I find whenever I wear chunky jewelry, it just kind of makes me look older and maybe a little dated. I'm not a real big jewelry person, but whenever I do wear jewelry, it's like earrings, a bracelet. I'm not much for rings because I kind of got away from that when we were farming because you could get your finger caught and ripped off. I just find right now I like daintier jewelry and I don't like like long necklaces because I've told you before that my belly is higher. It's like right underneath my bust. And if a longer necklace falls there, I feel like it's just like bringing attention to my belly. So that's why I will opt for like a daintier necklace. Now by chunky necklaces, I mean like, you know, like great big ones. For an updated look, instead of wearing like loud big jewelry, maybe if you like wearing jewelry, opt for like two or three daintier necklaces. Even some simple stud earrings or some diamond or cubic zirconas, some pearls or other gemstones, or even little dangling ones. I love these earrings. I can't stop wearing them. They're by Kendra Scott. They're a mini version of her really big ones. They're so pretty and they're available in lots of colors. I think just because we are getting older, some people think that they have to like cover up their skin and they shouldn't be showing skin. I don't personally adhere to that. I think that if you have nice toned arms and legs, flaunt them, work it. Show off what you got if you're comfortable showing it off. Don't be afraid to show skin, but in a classy way, like in the summertime, if you have really nice toned arms, like there's nothing wrong with wearing sleeveless top. I know people will say to me, oh, you shouldn't be wearing like sleeveless tops because your arms are fat. Yeah, they are, but I don't mind wearing them. The point is you want to expose a little bit of skin here just to 
open this area up. It just makes you look youthful and refreshed. Just because we're over 50 doesn't mean we have to dress in a burlap bag and hide ourselves. No. Age is a number, you know? Up here I still feel like 25. Some days I feel like 80, but most days, most days are good. Okay, this one is a biggie and it can really age a person, but it's a, got a simple fix. And I'm talking about whitening your teeth. Stained teeth or yellow teeth from coffee, smoking, wine, that can really age a person. So there are options. You can get them professionally done by a dentist in the office. They also have professional kits that I have used before where they make a mold of your teeth and they send you home with a kit. You can do it at home. Yeah, there's whitening toothpaste, which I use. There's those strips you can put on your teeth. There are lots of options today to whiten your teeth. A nice, beautiful smile really shows that you have confidence and it makes you approachable and it just makes you look refreshed. Here's another one that is going to be controversial because I get so many comments on my hair. Update your hairstyle. Do what you want with your hair, it's your hair. There are a few important things maybe to keep in mind as we get older. A stylist once told me that it's the front of your hair that makes the cut. You don't need to have like long hair because I for the longest time wanted long hair but my hair is so thick and coarse, it gets to a certain point and it gets chopped off, kind of like this, you know, three weeks ago it was longer. But my hair grows fast, so probably two months from now it'll be long again for the fall. During COVID, I grew my hair because, you know, I couldn't get it cut for months and it was quite long. I hated it. So now, like, I really don't want long hair. You have to find a style that works for you. Think about updating your hair, your haircut, or even color. Once I had burgundy hair, my daughter's like, mom, I really liked it when you have burgundy hair, you should do that again. I get my hair colored every, I think it's every two months. I go for a cut every five weeks. I have to get my hair cut between four and five weeks just because it's so thick that it drives me nuts. I try and color it like every other month just because I can't stand somebody fussing around me for like an hour and a half. And then my highlights, she does, I think three to four times a year. We just see how, you know, how they look. But I used to get my hair colored every time I got it cut and it's expensive for one thing. I'm not interested in doing it at home by myself. But that would probably be a really bad science experiment on my part. Just play with your hair, play with colors. If you wanna go gray, go gray. Like if you wanna go pink, go pink. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll come onto my channel and I'll have like pink and blue hair. Wouldn't that be fun? The next thing that can make us look older and dated is not wearing the right bra. I'm sorry I have to bring this up again, but you know it's important. Proper fitting bra is a foundation to our outfit. And when you look good, you feel good. Going with a bra that's 20 years old or not adjusting the straps or having one that doesn't fit you properly is not helping you. Go for a bra fitting. Nordstrom's I know does bra fittings. I don't know where I'm gonna get my bra fittings anymore because Nordstrom is no longer here. I'll probably have to like go to a local bra store and hopefully they can help me out. But I think it's important to get a bra fitting at least once a year or if you've lost or gained weight, if you've had surgery, it's just important to check in and make sure that you're wearing the right size and the right type of bra. So just like raising your breasts up, if you have an apple stomach like I do, it's going to create the illusion of a waist and you're gonna look instantly thinner. It is so so important to take care of your skin and I am a skincare fanatic. I have been taking care of my skin I think since I was about 18 whenever I had money to buy proper skincare. Because I was always self-conscious growing up I had really bad skin. First of all I had rosacea. I had to go to a dermatologist put stuff on it. Calm it down. I would get like huge cystic zits. It was a mess. I just I had so little self-confidence when I was a teenager because I just, I hated the way I look. My skin, I swore to myself when I had extra money that I was going to invest in skincare. And that's what I started doing. And I first started using Mary Kay uh, Cosmetics. They had their skincare line and I loved it. I used it for years. Then I went on to Estee Lauder, to Lancome. You know, I've tried different ones from Sephora and now I'm with PCA Skin, which I like and I've been using for probably three to four years now. And I do find a difference in my skin. And uh, also I get microneedling. I started that 
about a year ago. Once every six months now, I go for a, a, an update, and that helps with like collagen production, with um, acne scars. It's so important to take care of your skin. And I feel that when you take care of your skin, it helps you feel better inside. It gives you confidence. And if I would have had nice skin when I was going to high school, you know, maybe I would have had a different experience, but I hated high school. I just hated it because I didn't like my skin and it was just embarrassing. You know, we didn't have any extra money for skincare. I, I used, I think it was Neutrogena. It was like kind of a see-through brown bar of soap and that's what I would use on my face. And oh gosh, I found it so so drying and I really had oily skin back then like it was like an oil slick definitely I love skincare at least moisturize moisturize your skin it's so important to moisturize even if you have oily skin as we age I have skincare videos I will link them where I go into depth about my uh, skincare you don't have to use as much skincare as I do but this is what I choose to do that is my uh, what I love like some people love you know having all kinds of eyeshadow palettes me it's my skincare I love my skin but my last suggestion to help you look refreshed and not look old is check your pocket Posture. I'm bad at this. Stand up straight, point the girls. You gotta stand up straight. That just makes you look confident, makes you look refreshed, youthful. So important to have good posture and it's something that I struggle with. I work on daily. So do what your mama told you, stand up straight. So I hope you enjoyed my video and if you haven't had a chance yet to check out clothing essentials worth investing is as a plus size woman over 50, I will link it here and I will see you over at that video. Thank you for watching. Bye.